Okay, welcome back everyone. In this video, we shall um, plug this um, coupled set of ordinary differential equations into our uh, Simulink configuration. So, as mentioned in the previous video, we have our derivatives on the right hand, le on the left hand side. All right, and we have everything else. And we have everything else on the right hand side. And we've also been given our initial conditions. So our system, now we just have to solve the system numerically in Simulink. As your problems get more complicated, it is helpful to draw a sketch of your Simulink block config before you actually go into the Simulink UI. Okay, it's a good practice and it's gonna make it a lot more streamlined and you're not gonna be throwing um, darts in the dark if you have a sketch or if you have a sketch ready before you go into simulink okay so we're going to start off with what we we're going to start off with the very basics we're going to start off with the very basics we know that if my derivative x prime goes into the integrator block if x prime goes into the integrator block i'm going to get out x okay and uh, i also know that let's just Put some space between the two i also know that if y prime goes into the integrator block i'm also going to i'm going to get y of t as my output okay so now we need to figure out what is the function what is the dependence of x prime on x and y so x prime in the first differential equation all right in the first differential equation it is a uh, subtraction of negative x and 3y so we're going to need an addition block. Um, and just to modify it a bit, I'm going to add a plus operation and a subtraction operation. Similarly for y prime of t, y prime of t is also given as a subtraction of 2x. Oh, sorry, it's given an addition of 2x and y. So we're going to add the addition block here as well. So yeah, step by step, step by step. We're just translating the mathematics. We're just translating the mathematics from um, algebra to block configuration. Okay, sorry, sorry, don't need that. All right, so negative x, done. And now we need uh, multiply y by three and x by two. So we're gonna get to gain blocks. I'm gonna just have some gain blocks here. Uh, okay, I'm gonna have a, a flipped gain. Usually it's gonna be facing towards the uh, right side. Here I just have it flipped. One is, I believe, three, the other is two. Three and the other is two. Okay. Now let's uh, start connecting. And we know that we're gonna have negative x into the, uh, for the first ordinary differential equation negative x so this shall go into the negative input and y we have three times y right so plus three y so plus three y is gonna we can take the signal from the y and this is now being multiplied by three and now it shall find it shall reach its final destination oops Ooh, okay I hope that's not too confusing. Okay. And yeah, so x prime is fully functional now. X prime is fully functional. And now for y, we need 2x plus y. 2x plus y. So let's zoom out a bit. 2x. Mm, okay. So x is being multiplied by 2 we can feed it right here and we also need the y term and there we have it that's our sketch all right let's see if there are any if we can follow through this x prime gives x x prime is a uh, so if you can like reverse engineer our differential equations x prime is a addition of as you can see here it's an it's a subtraction here so negative x of t and plus um, if you can trace it 3y of t so if you reverse engineer your differential equations 
and if they come out to be if they come out to be the same as you started off with then you've probably made your diagram correctly so I'm just tracing my differential equations and now let's see why y prime okay y prime is an addition of 2x as you can see here 2x let me trace that for you as well 2x okay so we have 2x of t and my tablet is being a little sorry um, all right so and then we have y all right let's see yep y so our block diagram is good all right we have we've come up with the same result as we started off with now we can just go into the simulink environment and let's see what we can do okay i already have simulink launched here and uh, i know which blocks i'm going to use and if you double click and type the name of the block that you need it's going to show up okay wow technology now if you right click and hold you can copy these blocks see it's going to ask you whether you want to copy it or do some other stuff. I'm just going to paste it. Okay. Oh, yeah. Um, what else did we need? I'm just going to... You can select it all together. Move it to the side. Okay. Fun stuff. Play around with it. I'll, I also need the addition blocks. So I, I'm going to need two addition blocks. Okay. I hope my... Let's... Ah, my OCD is satisfied. Copy that. And another one. So this one had plus minus the other one is plus plus the operations are listed as let's let's connect that right now all right oops my OCD is not happy there we go uh, and yeah my OCD is pleased okay um, let's move this to the uh, let's move you aside and we also need the gain blocks so I'm gonna if you type in the gain block right click hold paste boom all right so I'm just gonna zoom it out, zoom this one out a bit, zoom this one out a bit. Okay, I'm not very, I'm not very savvy with the aesthetics of like how to. Um, I hope there, are, I'm sure there are shortcuts to make them like equally sized, etc. And uh, I'm gonna leave that on you to figure out. I'm gonna leave that on you for now. All right. Um, okay. Oops. Um, never mind. We can get it again. Here we go. Uh, this is gonna go into the blooper reel if I ever make one. Now, whoa, all right, the gain blocks. One of them was three, and the other one was two. Three and two. Got it. Three, two, two, two. There we go. And uh, let's see. Uh, we're just gonna follow what we did here. Okay, we're just gonna follow what we did here. So three goes into the uh, addition and two goes into the, it doesn't matter, both are addition here. All right, just keeping my, just not letting my OCD kick in. Mm, trying my best. Okay, and oh yeah, the initial conditions. You have to plug in the initial conditions into the integrator blocks. So the first one was, according to my diagram, the first block is X and the initial condition of X is one, okay? Initial condition of x is 1. And the initial condition of y is going to be 2, as I listed in the problem. All right, very good. OK, now looping back stuff. This was, I believe, minus x over there. Um, yep, looks good, looks good, looks good. And uh, for the second one, we also need the y. The y is being multiplied by the, by three. Just uh, refer back to the sketch. Refer back to the sketch if you get lost. The sketch is now gonna help you. Uh, the sketch is gonna ensure that you don't get lost, okay? All right, so this equation is almost done. And this is gonna be two times x, all right? And plus y times x plus y. And um, I've made a I've made a grave error here. I should be I should be labeling these. This is my x prime of t, and this should be my x of t. I I'm glad you guys can learn from my mistakes, so you guys don't have to repeat them 
when you're on a test or something. All right, you guys are welcome. And this one was again, this is Y of T, and this one is also Y of T because they're originating from the, as you can see, you can trace the signal, okay? All right, anything else before we click run? No, looks good, looks good. Let's, uh, let's hit it. Let's run it for a time of 30 time units. And boom. And now we wait. Okay. Oh, did you see what I did there? You see what I did there? I made a, I made an other mistake, okay? I forgot to add the scope. All right, and if I don't have the scope, I am not gonna know what's happening because the scope is the only way I'm gonna visualize stuff. Okay, and uh, yeah, let's, uh, we're gonna be sending both Y, Y, I believe Y is gonna be the yellow one and X is gonna be the blue one. And X is gonna be the blue one, here we go. Okay. Let me just make sure this is traced well. Do max, okay, good. Let's run it again. And this time our scope is gonna show results. Any day now? Oh, as you can see, the system is showing some behavior and it is rather weird. The behavior is very weird. All right. Um, let's see if we can and that's not your fault that's probably not your fault that's probably not our fault that's just the way we gave the initial condition so let's see if we have a one zero and the other one is let's say two let's see how the system behaves now depending on the different set of initial conditions your dynamic system is gonna show different behaviors of course and now let's see oh it's showing the same thing all right all right it's as you can see it shows exponential growth if you can both are showing exponential growth. All right. What if I add a subtraction block here? Let's see. How, let's see how that works. Uh, still, ex um, okay. Interesting. Interesting. All right. So if this one was zero and the other one was two, let's see what happens if we have five here and a four here. Mm, so as you can see, like no matter how you run it, the system shows exponential growth for both variables. So we've come to that conclusion. And um, we can refer back to our um, model, our dynamic system that we've come up with. Let me just put it back to plus plus so we know Okay. And what if one of these is negative? Okay, one of these. Um, now we're just playing around with different initial conditions, okay? And engineering is all about playing around. Now let's see what happens. I'm going to run it for 10 time units. Uh, yep. Hold up. This was initially at negative 5. And... Uh, okay. All right, um, that's, that is Y of T. Let, let's make it even smaller. See what exactly is happening. Oh, no. Oh, so the system was really, really fast. Apparently the system was really, really fast, okay? If you have a really fast system, you might wanna slow, you might wanna write for shorter time durations and see how what kind of behavior it shows. Okay, and once again, I am glad you guys could learn from my mistakes. How nice of that. Ooh, look at that trajectory. Oh, let's, uh, let's put back our original conditions, which was, um, I believe, 1 and 2. And let's see what happens. See, this is not that bad. We're just having fun now. We're just having fun. 2. Run it, run it again for a time period of one second and both show a very smooth exponential increase not bad and uh, yeah so I think this was a fairly successful tutorial give it give it a try and let me know if you guys uh, run into any issues we'll see
Okay, thank you very much.